13 Essential Vietnam Experiences CNN When it comes to variety, Vietnam is in the league of its own. The trip to the capital, Hanoi, will be wildly different than modern Ho Chi Minh City, just as the lantern-lit streets of Hoi Tinh vary dramatically from the nearby citadels of Hue. Then there are the tea plantations, coffee farms, stunning base, capes and coastlines, all promising distinct adventures. Lest we forget the food. Vietnam is home to some of the freshest and most delicious cuisine on earth, one steamy bowl of pho devoured on a plastic stool, and you'll understand. From can't miss essentials to adventurous side trips, we've shortlisted a few of the most memorable experiences in Vietnam. Light a lantern in Hoi An. As one of the most beautiful destinations in Asia, Hoi An promises no shortage of photogenic scenes. But none is more mesmerizing than the Full Moon Lantern Festival. At this monthly festival, the city shuts off its electric lights to let thousands of rainbow-hued lanterns glow against an inky black sky, both throughout the little lanes of Old Town as well as on the Thursday Bond River. Held to honor the full moon, the festival takes place along Old Town's waterfront promenade, where music, games and entertainment energize the atmosphere. Alternatively, Travelers can hire a sampan boat to glide along the water for a quieter experience. Either way, it's easy to take part, you'll simply need to purchase a paper lantern and candle for a couple of dollars. Depending on your bargaining skills, light the candle, set it inside, then send it downstream accompanied by wishes for happiness and luck. Search for the best foe in Hanoi. The taste of foe is a must on every journey whether it's your first time or your 50-ish. Hanoi is located in northern Vietnam, which is thought to be the birthplace of the de facto national dish, so it makes sense to start your search for the best bowls in the capital. Wedged between grand colonial French buildings in the labyrinthine old quarters, the best faux shops are often the most unassuming, filled with modest furniture, if any at all, and epic cauldrons of bubbling broth. We'll give you a couple hints. Hanoi institutions like Phone the Etruian 49 Bat Dam, Old Quarter or Phone Thin 13 Low Duke, and GOVHIM should satisfy your phone cravings. Trace history in Ho Chi Minh City. An estimated 2 million Vietnamese civilians died in the Vietnam War called the American War in Vietnam, which was fought across nearly two decades from 1954 to 1975. No matter where you're from, it's important to familiarize yourself with the country's recent history to better understand and appreciate modern Vietnam. We recommend spending a few hours at Hoi Chi Minh City's museums and monuments to commemorate lives lost in the war and better understand the conflict. The War Remnants Museum, opened in 1975, traces several wars through graphic photographs and military equipment, including a collection of helicopters tanks and fighter jets, as well as a reproduction of prison conditions, accounts of chemical warfare and a French guillotine. Ride the Reunification Express. It might not be the fastest way to get around, but the Reunification Express officially known as the North-South Railway is certainly the most scenic. This 1,072-mile rail line chugs from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh City passing countless landscapes and landmarks along the 35-hour journey. There are several different cabin options on the train, including sleeper cabins for those making the full journey. More commonly, travelers will take the opportunity to hop on and off the train across several days to explore the country's beautiful natural scenery and historic towns. A few of the highlights include Van Long Nature Reserve in Ninh Binh, where magnificent rice paddies and limestone scenery await, the ancient imperial city of Hue, and the beach town of En Ha Trang on the central coastline. Take an aerial tour of Hai Long Bay. Hai Long Bay is considered one of the most breathtaking destinations in Vietnam, and it's easy to see why. The Jade Toned Bay is home to thousands of limestone islands, mysterious caves and wildlife. Most travelers tour this natural wonder aboard a cruise, but now there's another way to explore, by helicopter.
launched earlier this year. Heilong Heli Tours showcases a unique seascape from on high. Travelers can choose from 8 to 40 minute sightseeing tours that soar over the bay's many islands, beaches, and fishing villages. While you're in the region, we'd also recommend a detour to buy the Yulong Erland Ha Base, Heilong Base Lesser Known Neighbors, where you can kayak, swim, and trek in near total seclusion. Beach Hop in Phu Quoc if clear water and powder soft sand sounds right up your alley, the Enmom's Pearl Island is for you. Located in the Gulf of Thailand off the southwest coast, Phu Kwa promises dozens of beaches in all sizes and shades. Among them, South Beach is often praised as one of the best in Vietnam thanks to its clear water, palm trees and sugar white sand. Dong Wang Beach, on the west coast, tends to be quieter and more rustic, the kind of place where you're more likely to share the water with a wandering cow or local fishing boat than other travelers. Come sunset, snag a spot on Long Beach to enjoy the island's famously fiery sunset alongside chilled beers and lit music. Cruise down the Mecca. The Mecca, which is the 12th longest river in the world, has been the lifeblood of Southeast Asia for millennia. Still today, it's flanked by fishing villages and rice paddies, lush islands, food markets and ancient imperial cities. Ideal for those who prefer to travel at a slower pace, the Mecca River Cruise provides easier access to less visited rural communities and hard-to-reach natural attractions. Beginning in Hoi Thai Minh City, we recommend a 5- to 18-day cruise through the southern corner of Vietnam up through Nam Pen and Siem Reap in Cambodian and on to Lorne Prabang, Laos, if time allows. Explore the world's largest cave. It's not every day you have a chance to explore the world's largest cave. We highly recommended putting up an out-of-office message and succumbing to the full experience of Sun Du, a four-day expedition led by a venture tour company Oxalis. As the world's largest cave, Sun Du is over 3 miles long and 650 feet tall, spacious enough to fit a 40-story skyscraper, according to Oxalis. Given its size, the stunning cave offers countless natural treasures from 262-foot-tall stalagmites to subterranean rivers, unique species, enormous rock walls and even its own jungle, all of which travelers will experience during their trek. Take a motorbike ride through the majestic north. In Vietnam, motorbikes rule the road. And though it might make it challenging to cross the street in Hanoi, the country's affinity for scooters has given way to countless opportunities for adventures onto wheels. Companies such as Flamingo Travel, Kwong's Motorbike Adventures and Flipside offer a variety of cycling itineraries including both guided tours as well as bike rentals so you can hit the road alone. Many avid riders agree that Vietnam's Ha Chong Loop in the far north, near the border with China, is among the most satisfying routes. On a four- or five-day trip, you'll cruise by everything from imposing mountain ranges to local villages, deep canyons and scenic back roads. Soak up tea culture in Saipit. If you're up north, we recommend stopping for a few nights in Saipit. In this former French colonial hill station, it's easy to fall in love with the temperate island climate, Mr. Green Tea Terraces, waterfalls and hiking trails, including the two-day hike up Mount Fansipan. The region's lush hillsides play host to hundreds of tea farms that produce green, black, oolong and cinnamon teas, among others. To really get to know the region's unique culture, we recommend trying a homestay in one of the mountain villages, though luxury hotels are now also on the travel menu. Go crazy for coffee in Ballot. As the second largest coffee producer in the world, right behind Brazil, Vietnam also dedicates some of its island territory to coffee plantations. A few days in Ballot, a mountain town northeast of Ho Chi Minh City, will show you just how prolific the country's coffee industry really is. There are several plantations peppered throughout these highlands, including Sun Pa Camera, Trade Han Weasel Coffee and Cow Dad Plantation, 
all of which offer guided tours. You'll learn how farmers cultivate coffee berries and roast them to perfection. Then taste the coffee for yourself. Whether sweetened with condensed milk or served through a filtered brew, earthy and aromatic Vietnamese coffee is known to satisfy even the most ardent of coffee connoisseurs. Make vermicelli noodles in Cubic VA Village. From springy vermicelli to clear rice noodles, egg noodles, glass noodles and fettuccine like ban foam. Noodles are a staple in Vietnamese cuisine. And nowhere are noodles more ubiquitous than in Cubic VA Village. A noodle lover's paradise. This ancient village south of Hanoi produces incredible volumes of white and yellow vermicelli to keep up with demand. It's quite the sight. As you wander around the French colonial era buildings, racks and racks of spaghetti thin noodles can be seen drying in the sun. To showcase the traditional techniques, several noodle tours include hands-on cooking classes where you can learn top tips from a local family. Cycled around Hughes ancient ruins. Having served as the former imperial capital during the Nguyen dynasty 1802 to negative 1945 Hue is one of the best places in Vietnam to admire ancient architecture. The highlight for most is the UNESCO listed complex of Hue monuments, the walled fortress on the banks of the Perfume River that encloses ancient temples, royal tombs and countless pagodas. Given the complex's massive size, Stretching across 778 acres 315 hectares one of the most pleasant ways to explore is on a bicycle. Starting in the misty morning hours, travelers can pedal along the peaceful pine dales, break for coffee and soak up the grandeur of the inner citadel, outer walls and many altars before the crowds roll in.